Inspirational quotes from the Book of Zohar Israel and the Nations The Creator offered the Torah to everyone. Balak 140 to 148 The Lord came from Sinai, is as is written, Behold, I will come to you in a thick cloud. He came from Sinai and appeared to them, and dawned on them from Seir, from what the children of Seir said that they did not wish to receive. From that it shone for Israel and added much light and love to them. Similarly, he shone forth from Mount Paran. From what the children of Paran said, that they did not wish to receive. From that, Israel were given a great addition of love and illumination. By whom was he revealed to them? This is a sublime secret and will be revealed through your question. The Torah came out from a sublime secret, from the head of the hidden king, Bina. When he reached the left arm, Isaac, Zohar, the Creator saw bad blood in that arm, which was proliferating from there, who is Esau, Samael. And the Sitra Ahra said, I should sort out and scrutinize this arm. And if I do not shed that bad blood, it will blemish everything. Indeed, every flaw must be cleared out from here. He called to Samuel, Esau's minister, and told him, Would you like to have my law? He replied, what is written in it? He said, You shall not kill. The Creator skipped to show him the right place. He skipped to the place that he knew he would not be able to tolerate. Samuel said, God forbid, this law is yours, and yours it shall stay. I have no wish for this law. He pleaded with him once more and said, Lord of the world, if you give the law to me, all of my governess will be gone, for my whole governess is by killing. If I accept the law, there will be no wars, while my governess is on planet Mars which indicates bloodshed. Thus, everything would be canceled from the world. Lord of the world, do take your law, and I will have no part of it. But if it pleases you, the people that are the sons of Jacob are worthy of the law. He thought he was slandering them, this is the meaning of and dawned on them from Seir, meaning that the light came out for Israel from the very Seir, scapegoat, meaning from Samel, Seir's minister. Samel said to himself, if Jacob's children accept the law, they will probably vanish from the world and will never be able to govern. The Creator replied to him several times, For you are the firstborn, and for you should the law be given. He told him, But the birthright is his, for it was sold to him, and I confessed. The Creator told him, Since you wish to have no part in the law, Move away from it entirely, he said. Very well. 
The Creator told him, Since this is so, advise me, how should I make Jacob's children accept it, as you say? Samuel replied to him, Lord of the world, they must be bribed. Take some light from the light of the hosts of heaven and pour it over them. By that, they will accept it. And here, I will give of my light first. He took the light that was covering him off himself and gave it to the Creator to give it to Israel. As it is written, and dawned on them from Seir. Actually, out of Seir, who is Samel, of whom it is written, the goat shall bear on itself. On their means, on Israel. Since he uprooted the Samel and removed the bad blood from the left arm, Isaac, Gvua, he returned to the right arm, Abraham, Chesed. In the two he saw bad blood, Ishmael. He said, This arm too must be clean from bad blood. The Creator summoned Rahav, Ishmael's minister, and told him, Would you like to have my Lord? Rahav replied, What is written in it? He skipped over everything and told him, You shall not commit adultery. He said, Oh dear, should the Creator inherit me with this inheritance? It is a bad inheritance that will remove all my governance from me, which is based on adultery. For I have taken the blessings of the water, the blessings of the fish, of the sea. As it is written, be fruitful and multiply. And it is written, I will make him fruitful and will multiply him. And it is written, and he will be a wild donkey of a man. He began to plead before his master. He told him, Lord of the world, two sons came out of Abraham. Here the children of Isaac give it to them. It is right for them. The Creator told them, I cannot, for you are the elder, and the law should be given to you. He began to implore him and said, Lord of the world, let my birthright be his, and that light that I have inherited for the birthright, take it and give it to them. So did the Creator, and this is the meaning of the verse he shone forth from Mount Paran. When the Creator took those gifts to Israel, from those ministers that rule over Esau and Ishmael, he came and called upon all the holy tens of thousands of appointees over the rest of the nations. And they too replied to him as did Samuel and Rahab. He took from all of them and received gifts to give to Israel.